Ever since Kool Abdem burst into the Muay Thai scene, he has gained the reputation as one of the hardest hitting punchers in the sport. With the nickname The Executioner, it is not surprising that Kool Abdem is known for his relentless aggression and devastating left straight punch. Every strike Kool Abdem throws is with the intent to hurt. When he smells blood, Kool Abdem is one of the best fighters in the world at finishing his opponents. After Kool Abdem was awarded the Sports Writers Fighter of the Year winner for 2017, he looked unstoppable. He recently knocked out the elbow master, Muang Thai, in a rematch that showcased his ability to effectively counterpunch against an aggressive opponent. Unfortunately, all good things come to an end, and towards the end of 2018, a new fighter would emerge that would beat the executioner not once, not twice, but three times in a row. Hey guys, it's Steven here from MuayThaiPros.com and today I'm going to break down how Towen Thai was able to beat the hard-hitting Kool of Dam using the right strategy, skill, and techniques. When you are facing an aggressive fighter with knockout power like Kool of Dam, fight IQ is everything. Throughout the fight, you are only one mistake away from getting knocked out. At only 19 years of age, Tawan Chai is one of the best technical fighters in Thailand. He possesses the skill, fight IQ, and mental toughness to counter Kulabdam's aggression. Kulabdam is a southpaw fighter with a devastating left punch. To avoid walking into this power left, Tawan Chai has to circle away from his power hand. As you can see, Tawan Chai is constantly moving to the left and ducks out as Kulabdam rushes forward. Circling out to the left not only moves Tawan Chai away from Kulabdam's power shots, it also keeps him from being tied against the ropes. Against a hard hitter like Kulabdam, you want to avoid having your back stuck to the ropes because that is where they can land their power shots. Notice how calm Towan Chai remains as Kulabdam tries to attack. Being calm allows Towan Chai to move effortlessly around the ring and ensure he doesn't get trapped by his opponent. Remember, one mistake is all it takes for a fighter like Kulabdam to finish the fight. To win a fight against a brawler like Kulabdam, you need to have good boxing defense. If you are a fighter that doesn't have good head movement and can't take a punch, you're not going to make it 5 rounds. Tawan Chai has excellent head movement and protects his chin throughout every exchange. Notice how active Tawan Chai is on defense as he uses head movement to make it difficult for Kulabdam to land his strikes. When Kulabdam comes too close, Tawan Chai wraps him up in the clinch to prevent him from staying in punching range. In addition to his good footwork, Towan Chai possesses excellent balance that allows him to stay on his feet every time Kool of Them grabs his leg. Notice how Towan Chai keeps a high guard and is active on defense. Towan Chai also utilizes the right and left jab to force Kool of Them to keep his guard up. This is a great technique that will keep your opponent honest every time they grab your leg. Notice how calm and composed Towan Chai is every time his leg is caught. This is a sign of confidence in his ability to stay on his feet. Towan Chai's right teeth is a weapon used to control the distance against Kulabdam. Towan Chai uses the jumping right teep to cover more distance and add more power to the teep. This teep is extremely effective at keeping an opponent at bay and frustrating them when they become aggressive. Every time Towan Chai needs to gain separation, he uses the teep to knock his opponent back, causing him to reset his attack. Towan Chai also uses the right teep 
to help him set up his other attacks. When you are facing a southpaw fighter like Kulabdam, you want to attack their left side with your right kicks to score more points. Toanchai makes sure he uses his right switch kick throughout the fight to score valuable points. As most technical fighters understand, often a few extra kicks is the difference between winning and losing a close fight. Whenever you are facing an aggressive opponent, you need to make them respect you. To keep your opponent from being overconfident, you need to make them feel your power. When Kulabdam attacks, Tawanchai is quick to strike back. Because Kulabdam is such an aggressive fighter, he often leaves himself open to head kicks. Tawanchai takes advantage of these openings by landing hard head kicks that rock his aggressive opponent. One head kick is all it takes to change the momentum of a fight. In a close fight, every strike matters. One of the ways that Tawan Chai was able to beat Kulabdam three fights in a row was his ability to steal rounds. When it matters most, Tawan Chai has the ability to score quick points against his opponent. If his corner tells him to go forward, he is extremely good at landing body kicks and pushing the fight in his favor. That is a sign of someone with next level fight IQ. They do just enough to win. If you guys enjoyed watching that breakdown, make sure you leave the video a like and hit the subscribe button below. Let me know in the comment section what you think of Tawanchai and what breakdown you want to see next. Bye for now.